I'm sort of an accidental scientist. My mother was a nurse and in fact was a nurse educator at the Alfred in Melbourne and so she always loved medicine and helping people and I grew up thinking I couldn't possibly do anything in that arena because I was scared of the sight of blood and then I thought about it and I thought well I really like the idea of scientific endeavour and detective work trying to figure out what's going on with the patient. I really like talking to people and working with people and I really want to do something that I think is useful in the big picture. So that's really how I headed into, um, into medicine. The idea of journalism really appeals and that's I think because of the use of language and the understanding of so many different domains in the world and the different uh, ways people interpret uh, aspects of life. So there's a lot of overlap with research, I think. You have to realise that epilepsy carries a lot of baggage with it, lots of what we call comorbidities. So it might keep company with learning difficulties or intellectual disability. Autism spectrum disorders are quite common in some of the children I see. Uh, other psychiatric features such as depression. So there's a huge burden that goes with this disease. My first memory of science, I have had trouble recollecting, recollecting that, but I did used to have to give injections to my grandmother for her diabetes, so I guess that was a little bit of science. There haven't been a lot of female role models out there. If you understand, Stanley stands out as an amazing Australian role model for women, um, but there haven't been too many other, other women. Fortunately, that's changing. <laughs> Субтитры